All right, everybody, we are at the end of our essential exercise series. This is the third part of essential exercise number three, packing your bag. Um, and this one I call, there's no shame in Sherpas, okay? A Sherpa is, apparently they're like little bearded dudes and maybe bearded ladies that live on Everest and help walk people up. They know the mountain and they're gonna get up there, okay? We have been talking a lot about getting you like self-actualize to do this process on your own. But fitness, a change in lifestyle, is a lonely, lonely road to walk by yourself. And I want you to know that there is no shame in getting help, okay? Fitness lives in this very weird space in our uh, cultural context where it's kind of tossed off to the side and those who do it professionally are kind of viewed as somebody who's failed at other things. Oh, but they were good at the gym, so they'll be a personal trainer. Um, there's a lot that goes into this. There's understandings of anatomy and biomechanical movement. There's, there's a lot that goes into this. And I do it because I like helping people, okay? Um, but if that's not you, this entire essential exercise series might have been very frustrating. You're, I don't know how to, you know, reverse engineer a goal. I don't know what you're talking about, coach. This is just so frustrating. Um, if that's you, that's okay. Because you probably can, you know, balance a checkbook, which I can't do. <laughs> that's why my wife is so great. Um, but. It, Understanding that this is not your strength is not, uh, is not a, a death blow to your fitness journey. It's an insight into what you need to shore yourself up. What you need to put in your bag to climb up your mountain is somebody to help you go, who's been there, to go along the way. So we're talking about a, a, a gym membership that has a great coach. We're talking about personal trainers. We're talking about... Um, invested nutritionists, we're talking about a dietitian, uh, all of this stuff to help shore you up because you're like, I, I know it's my responsibility to go up this mountain, but I just, I can't do it by myself. That's okay. Be okay with that. Don't let anybody tell you that that's not okay. Their perception is wrong. Okay? And certainly don't pick them as a gym partner. Um, also, don't, like, your coach is not a gym partner with a, like, muscle and fitness member, like, subscription. That's different. Um, if you're going to do this, pay for a quality coach, all right? Um, if you want to pay the smallest amount, you're going to get the smallest amount of investment. So, think of this like the mountain analogy we've been using. If you're going up Everest, you're not going to buy the cheapest shoes, you're going to buy something that has lasted and has great reviews and all that other stuff. So that's my last little piece. And I wanted to end with it because we probably have a pretty good idea leading up until now that maybe you need some extra help. Get it. Okay? Better to deal with this pride issue than sacrifice your life and just be unhealthy forever. The only person to whom it really matters is you. And if that's the case, we can decide, you know what? I'm going to make something else more important. So externalize that a little bit and go, what's, who can I serve by sacrificing my pride here and getting the help that I really need? So... I hope you enjoyed this essential exercise series. I hope you are ready to make some steps. If you're ready to do this on your own, great. If you're ready to do this with all the help in the world, great. That's great. Know that you're great. You're not going to make yourself a better person along this journey. You might be faster and stronger and lighter and leaner and whatever, but you're not gonna be better. Your worth as a person can't be found in a gym. And I'm gonna leave you with that. I'm Coach Sean, your fitness guru, and I look forward to working with you.